don't feel um, it anyway. <laughs> Mr. Amy, is there going to be a cameo appearance anywhere in the film by Bruce Just Campbell? <laughs> Actually, we really wanted to have Bruce in the picture, but he was under contract and shooting in uh, his TV series, I think it's Burn Notice, down in Florida. So we had one day that he could have made it, and we were going to do a bit with him, but it just couldn't work out scheduling. Scheduling wise, I really wanted to do that. Though. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for asking. Yeah, the classic, the car got in the picture. It seems to find a way, yeah. Next. Hi, my name is Dawn, and I'm from icydead.com. And actually, this is kind of a personal question for Sam. I was just wondering, um, do any of the junior Raimis have any aspirations to follow in their father's footsteps? Well, um, no, I don't, I don't know. I don't try and um, do with the kid. I've got five kids at home, and I try not to um, push them in that direction. Um, one or two of them have taken up an interest in writing stories and, um, and acting, but I think no more than any other kid do, and um, my wife is very careful to make sure we don't have any film stuff around the house, posters or any of that, toys or stuff representing the movies, but um, um, my son Henry's a big reader. I think he might be a writer one day. Um, but he also loves so many other things. Um, I get their notes on, the, on you know, casting and um, <laughs> dailies and stuff like that. That's how I ended up with such a great cast. Um, but that's about it. Thanks. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> um, this is for Justin. Um, how do you do all the commercials for a MacBook? Or like, my computer? Do you actually own a Mac computer? <laughs> <laughs> You're so very cute. The cutest, the cutest way to answer that question. It's funny, I get that question all the time, and, and uh, a lot of the time people say it, say to me like they think it's the first time it's ever been said, but I get a lot of like, if I go out anywhere, they say, hey, hey, Mac or PC? And so I've been doing this thing where I pretend like I don't get it. I'm, like, oh, I'm sorry. Well, Matt, you know, Sam, I'm just joking with you, buddy. Matt, PC. And I go, no, I, I don't understand. What? And then they have to explain the joke, which is not really much of a joke. So, um, but to answer your question, your adorable question, um, uh, I do, I do, yeah, I have a Mac. <laughs> Allison, I, I, I want to ask you real quick, too. I mean, you were kidding then about the bruises and scratches then, right? I mean, are you really, really getting knocked around in all these fights? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, to make it more real, Sam would, uh... <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I mean, I remember being strangled, uh, yeah, by Lorna, and, uh, I knew it, it wasn't looking real, and, um, so I asked her, you know, to really strangle me, so... <laughs> so, so you opened up to it then. So. <laughs> she goes through so much physical abuse in the picture, and she's such a gamer. She uh, will throw herself into, you know, there's a moment where one of the spirits picks her up and throws her into a wall. She won't let the stunt people do her stunts. She's got to do her stunts. Um, there's one or two, maybe there's two shots in the whole picture where there's a stunt girl uh, doing the shots, but everything else is Allison. And, I wouldn't let most any other actress do this that I've ever worked with, but she's so physically adept. She did this whole, I don't want to give away the sequences, but she puts everything she's got into it 100% all the time. And um, it's always a dedication to make it better, make it more realistic. No, it doesn't look real enough, Sam. Let me do it again. But you're going to really hurt yourself. I mean, she really, you cannot stop her from giving everything she's got physically to make it right on screen. Great. Great. That's good to hear. Next question out here. Hi, this is for Sam. Um, I know you're going to probably take my head off for this question, but if I had to meet you, I had to ask this question. And I saw a lot of humor in, um, in this movie, which the name escapes me now, sorry. Um, Drag yeah. me to hell. <laughs> okay, I'm going there. Hey, you're out. So, <laughs> And the question is... It reminded me of Evil Dead, so 2020, 2020, can we see maybe... In other words, is Evil Dead coming? Is it in the cards? Well, um, I 
Thanks for asking about that. I loved working with Bruce Campbell, and um, he's, he, he, like Allison, he's a super willing to do anything to make it right. I mean, he's a very funny guy, and but, but mostly he's got this quality of he will physically endure anything to make the shot right. So I'd love to work with Bruce again, because I'd like to test those limits. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'd love to make another Evil Dead picture. Um, and actually, that's that's in the wheelhouse. I, I'd like to work on that with my brother Ivan when he comes up to visit next week. <laughs> you heard it here first. Justin's obviously very funny, so I was curious if he was brought in as a comedic relief on purpose, or to go for a more serious role. Well, I love Justin Long. Uh, I love him as a person, and as an actor, and as a comedian, but primarily, I wanted a love interest in this picture. I wanted a great actor who would be very appealing, so that people would understand do you think he's appealing? Let me hear if you think Al. Justin's an appealing guy. He's handsome, I'm telling you. So uh, I needed to, it to make sense on screen in the story that Allison's character could fall in love with him. Because, and because of his humor, because of his good looks, but that's secondary, because he's a great actor, and in the right age range, obviously, um, I really wanted him for the part. <laughs> So um, I met with him over coffee, and I was so happy when he said he wanted to do it. And uh, everything was a dream since then. And we use his humor. He's always rewriting lines, coming up with bits, always uh, trying a different spin on something. And we've incorporated a lot of it into the picture. It gives it a lot of extra dimension, and it becomes dynamic. So it's a little, and you, you never know what's coming with, with uh, Justin Long. He tries to make everything fresh and original. And, um, and it's usually really funny, and a lot of times you get stuck wondering which take it, you're going to use, you know. They're, they're both funny. Uh, I guess that's what they make uh, DVDs for, um, those actors, but both, all those reasons for me. So, Justin? <laughs> I'm, I'm indifferent to Sam. Uh, <laughs> you know, no, I, for me, I felt it was a chance to do something um, a little bit more serious, and, and, and uh, Sam was... I was shocked by how um, collaborative Sam was and, and, and how flexible and, and um, just so open to different ideas. And, and uh, but I was excited to kind of play. I treat it as like a, I mean, it doesn't look like it, and it's really not. But for me, it was sort of like a love story too. And you know, it made it so easy that Allison was the girl, and just such a natural, appealing actress. So it was it was a new opportunity for me. Okay. <laughs> 